does Jerry Jones have his latest project thanks to an arrest over the weekend? More on that in just a second. Before we get to that, uh, Michael uh, Gelkin. I thought you were going to say Jerry, like, paid off the bartender to break to knock this guy <laughs> out of fir- the first round in order to get him drafted in the third. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I mean, clearly uh, he pays each one of us, of course, to carry water, you know, so that's <laughs> uh, that, that's complete within the realm of possibility, I guess. Uh, Michael Gelkin, an hour ago over the Dallas Morning News, had... What do you think Jerry would be more disgusted by? The treatment towards all of them this offseason or the notion that he's that tight with us? Which one would disgust him more? Disgust him uh, more? Oh, the ch- I think the cheap. <laughs> I, I, it, it was kind of a joke I was making. But I do think that, like, he would probably be, like, I, I'm sure he's annoyed at the thought that you guys think I think what they say all the time. You think that's my opinion? <laughs> I do think I do think that, and I yeah. think there are other people in the building who would be like, "You guys think those idiots are, are what we think?" Just a little bit. <laughs> and so there's a little bit of that. But Michael Galkin from the Dallas Morning News an hour ago had a story up, and it's a, a big old picture of CD Lamb. And when Michael Galkin tweets a story, and I see he's always good, hated Lamb. No, <laughs> when he's I see, always hated CD. When, when I see a a, a, a a fairly sizable description in the tweet. Then I'm like, oh, Michael's about to, to drop some knowledge on us or or might be inferring something. The tweet reads, it's a picture of CeeDee Lamb, and it says, Cowboys begin their voluntary spring workout program one week from today. Barring a surprise departure from precedent, wide receiver CeeDee Lamb won't participate as a potential holdout looms. So here's what we're facing now. Uh, and that looms for when? So the... The off-season programs, which are voluntary. And highly attended around here. They are highly attended. Really it, are, would, yeah. it would not be like a total break from precedent, though, for him not to show up if he's got a contract thing going on. That has happened plenty of times before with guys. Uh, but that would start in May, late May. So the, the, sixth stretch of, the stretch of six OTA practices starts May 24th. Then mandatory minicamp is June 4th through the 6th. So the Cowboys can find, this is according to Michael, the Cowboys can find any player who misses the entire three-day June minicamp for an unexcused reason up to $101,716. Basically a Shohei Otani home run for the Dodgers. Basically what they're <laughs> charging. Uh, a potential workaround would be to, and this is what a lot of guys have done, the hold in. Rather than hold out, reporting to the team facility, but like, ah, a little sore today, guys. I don't think, uh, don't think I'm going to be able to practice today. Yep. So every offseason... Dak throws to his receivers outside the team facility, so it's not like he's failing to get in work. It wouldn't put him behind if anybody's worried about that. But the suggestion here is that you could be looking at a holdout come training camp time, which is what we ran into with Zach Martin. Remember what it was like? You're costing yourself money with all these fines that are building up. Yeah. And it was like, okay, they can't, they can't just say we'll waive the fines like they used to. They have to be enforced. They built it into the You build into the contract money to cover over it. Yeah. And or some sort of bonus or whatever else. So it'll be interesting to see if CD shows up to training camp. Like I, I think he's going to the hold in would make a lot more sense. I would imagine right. he's not going to be there for OTAs okay. at all. And I would imagine the June I'm here but I'm not here yeah. is what would happen. If they get to training camp, I, I'm going to be really interested to see if he shows so up. So why doesn't he have his new deal right now? It's a good question. So, but he because. would show up for day one and then just, oh, my hammy. That's what they do, right? That that that's what you got because that that's what they do now. That that's the suggestion. Obviously, yeah. you can't prove it, but the suggestion is you show up to the the June mini camp and you don't participate, and so that's how that does. But like at training camp, no, like I think he would do what Zach Martin did, where he's like, I'm not showing up. But and the timeline, the timeline of deals was supposed to go like what between Dak, Lamb, and Micah. Uh, I think when, the, when, when was the most common sense for them to get done? CD should have been done a year ago, in my opinion. Like that should have gotten done. Now, people will always because is Micah's deal even supposed to take place this off season? He's just now eligible for it. Okay, but he has two years of control left. Like they don't have to do it. Yeah. right now they could wait until but the next anticipation off-season. wasn't that he was going to get his this offseason right lamb first mike even said that yes my uh, people thought my uh, they, dak people, lamb micah yeah people thought cd was going to get his deal done last year because it seemed like the easiest one to make work uh, one of the ones that everybody thought was going to be difficult to figure out was going to be Diggs, and Diggs got done before anybody else did and so it's, i will say to defend them mm-hmm. not shocking because i just had saw my venmo go through from the star <laughs> in frisco so i have to defend them Last year, wasn't last year the, the first year of CD being one on his own? Um, yeah, right? 
Amari was here two years ago. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah. No. 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 This is this. this Amari was no. Like this was CD's second, second year as yeah. the number one. Second year as the yeah. number one. Okay. And he clearly like he already, took a step up. Oh yeah, no doubt. There, there's no doubt yeah, about but, that. Okay. So our question of Lamb being the actual true one for them this year, that was that was a year ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the. I'm sending back the Venmo. Forget what I was about to say. <laughs> the, to me, the issue here with looking at CD's deals, like in twenty in 2022, when that's the first year that he's the number one guy, and early on in the season, he had his struggles, uh, but he really kind of clicked into place about week five. Oh, yeah. And then when Dak came back, it was it was through the roof. And so to me, it was like everybody said, okay, you handle this then. You get it done. He's the exact culture guy you want around. Uh, he's somebody who has performed at a high level. He's checked every box for you the entire way. It seems like there's a pretty receiver deals have not been ones that have been super difficult to get done for the most part. That market kind of falls into place pretty easily. So that one seemed like the easiest one to get done. Now, why didn't it get done? There's people who will say it takes two to tango, you know, um, CD has got to be as willing to play ball with us as, as we want. Now, is that a legitimate excuse or is that? The instance with Dak, for instance, the very first contract offer the Cowboys gave Dak in the offseason of 2019, right after Wentz and I think Goff, too, had gotten paid 32, 33 million. They tried to offer Todd France $25 million a year, and he went, 46 is our counter. <laughs> this is we, when they had just given Goff and Wentz how much? 32, 33, and the Cowboys said 25. And that, now, obviously, you start lower and you, yeah, you negotiate, yeah. but Todd France went, okay, 46 then. Since we're supposed to meet in the middle, 46, because we want 35. And ultimately, it ended up being 40 because they dragged it out and yeah. cost themselves. But then there are some instances where somebody legitimately doesn't want to play ball with them or, this, or is being difficult. This is not a negotiation. No. This is simple and it's easy. Pay it. Uh, it's And I'll give you the number. Uh, Tyreek Hill makes 30. So CD Lamb makes 30 or 31. Or you wait for Jefferson. Right? Justin mm -hmm. has not been paid yet? Nope. Or you wait for Jefferson or other people. That's the Cowboys. I know everyone goes, you know, a lot of people go, well, well it doesn't matter that you waited. You get leapfrogged and you got to pay a little bit more. And Jerry's the one who tells us every single cent is a piece of that pie. And every single cent is a, is accounted for. But but they love yeah. to wait because it's not on their schedule. Yeah, they do love to wait. Now, now, in their defense, with the cap going up, they don't view that as losing out. Yeah, but it does. The cap can go up. I pay you earlier. I save more when the cap goes up. Yeah, but you save eventually in the in the back end, right? Eventually you'll save. You'll continue to save. I mean, the earlier you get... Saying, you know what I mean? Saying, yeah. It's like me saying, I'm going to get a higher tax return, so I'm going to spend more money. Well, if I spend less money and get the higher tax return, I've saved more money. So pay the player earlier, have the cap number higher, you have more money. It's not that difficult. This is easy. 30, 31, or 32 a year. There's, It's not a negotiation, and it can't be argued. The guy is a legit, zero hesitation, number one stud. He's the key to your offense. He's the second most important player on your offense. It's not close. If anything happens to him, they're done. They're cooked. There is one. Offensively. There is one issue. And that is if you if they don't know that they're going to re-sign Dak. Yeah. Then they're like, well, why would we pay CD? Right. That's a great point. So at that point, it's like, well, because they... Not better than the points I've made, but that was great. Because, right. like, this is... They would still be able to trade him, right? After they... If they went... He has two years left? CD? Yeah. No. This is this, this is, is fifth-year option. Fifth-year option. Fifth year eight, option eight, 18 year. million yep. for the fifth-year option. He turned, I believe, 25 today. Happy birthday, CD. They can so tag him, obviously. They can tag him for sure and then trade him. Um, so, like, that's the that's the thing. Like, you know, if you're going to... And that's, that's the problem that they're in. They didn't... They're not ready to decide what they want to do. Mm. So it's like, because if they knew they were going to get rid of them, they would have just like, if they knew they weren't going to sign Dak, they, they would just trade him, yeah. hopefully, and then trade CD and then trade Micah and then get your six or seven first round draft picks and then reset everything. And but do they try to, to do make, that. do they try to just, look, we're already going to have Dak probably unhappy. You're already going to have Micah unhappy. Why not just have Lamb play unhappy? And have a, uh, a, a, hissed, a hissed off team. A hissed off team and, and, and rely on the new CBA making CD play instead of forfeit game checks. So they'll say uh, eight, $18 million. We're, we're, although you're, 
really, attitude-wise, you're sinking yourself for this upcoming season. I was about to say, you with know everyone's what? morale, you're sinking yourself. But look, because what is the CBA on missing games now? You can miss any or four in like, terms of holding out. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't. You get fined. You get fined. Yeah, and they're and they're fines that can't be revoked. They cannot be made up. Yeah, they and can't. So, they can't be made. I mean, they can't. They can't waive them. Wink, they would wink. just. But I mean, you have to put that on your cap. Yeah. You have to figure out a way to work that money into your cap. So, now. so to RJ's point, yeah, exactly. It factors into the cap, the makeup. So maybe to RJ's point, they're saying, this is a this is a all or nothing year anyway. So if if we go nine and eight, or if we lose in the first round, what's the point of having a thirty three million dollar receiver with no quarterback? So I would, then we deal all of them and we blow it up. Well, first off, that like, would make sense. Um, like I can logically see step by step. I think it's really stupid to do that. Like, like I think CeeDee Lamb is the exact type of guy you want to build around with whoever's going to be here. Okay. And I think that so he's 25. That's a thing. Him and Mike are he's, 24 and 25. He's a mon- and he's a monster. He's he's a monster. A, he is a, he, like we sat down, we talked to him. There is a, like, there's a that that's a guy that you want in your room doing things for you. And I just I look at I look at it and I say, if their thought process is gener- genuinely, what's what's one more unhappy player? Yeah. Just make him sit there. We'll figure it out. If that is genuinely the thought process, and I think it might be. Then you don't have to wonder why it's been 30 years. <laughs> if that's genuinely mm-hmm. why, you don't have to wonder why it's been 30 years. That's a that that creates toxicity Some... that, that ruins chemistry with your players. Good song. I, I mean, there's just it's a ton. That that is a major problem. That that's their thought process. Is who cares if one of our stars, who's one of our great culture guys, is mad? Some who cares? people, some organizations don't care. Oh no. They some don't. organizations just say you'll just go out and continue to produce. Morale doesn't matter. Good feelings, positive vibes. Not the not, morale not, is not, the paycheck. That's not, they'll say. The not morale that high is the up. paycheck. Not that uh, not that high. Yeah, the morale is the paycheck. So that is Michael Gelkin. Barring a surprise departure from precedent, C.D. Lamb won't participate as potential holdout looms. Hate to see his mentions when the hive comes after him. Gelkin? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do this to us? Why would you talk about holdouts? He ain't holding out. That's what we hear from him for self. Eight, even if he holds out, just an injury. 877-881-1053 is the Franklin Franco injury attorney hotline. Maybe C.D. needs to hit up the Frankles, you know? Get me on a piece of paper saying I got a calf. I got I got I got the hand. <laughs>